address resource concerns for what you don't have. What is it you're trying to do? What do you want that cover crop to, to do for you? I mentioned on Tuesday that one of my pet peeves is when I go hear from these uh, cover crop seed salesmen and they have these generic mixes all mixed up. Perfect, it's what I need, you know? This is what you need. Well, how do they know that's gonna address the resource concern? Let me give you an example. Cover crops can go terribly wrong but it's not the cover crop that's the problem, it's the lack of planning that's the problem. Had a phone call here two years ago, it's been now. It was in late March, a gentleman from South Dakota, and he says, you're the guy who thinks he knows a lot about cover crops. I said, no, I said, I've just had a lot of experience with them. And he says, well, let me tell you my situation. Central South Dakota, irrigated ground. He said it was in winter wheat, we combined off the winter wheat, we bailed off the straw. I planted it to radish and turnips, turned the water on, got beautiful growth, put my cows on there, and they're still on there. He, he said, and I interrupted him, he said, let me guess. Now you have soil blowing. Well, how'd you know? I said, you planted exactly the wrong cover crop for your resource concern. You have some resi residual nitrate nitrogen left from that wheat crop because, as Ray explained to you, uh, crop will only use about 30 to 40 percent of the nutrients we apply in any given year. The rest of it's there or being leached out. Okay, you removed all the straw, the carbon. Remember the photos I showed on Tuesday? The combine removed the straw, bailed it, hauled it off, planted a brassica. Carbon nitrogen ratios very low in carbon, high in nitrogen. Brassicas are nitrogen accumulators, they suck up nutrients. Those radishes and turnips went down, gathered that excess nitrate nitrogen, put it in the tuber, they grazed off the above ground biomass. What happened is spring started to come, it warmed up, the tuber broke down, released that nitrogen. They got no armor, no residue, no skin. Then you've got erosion. Wrong cover crop. Somebody was trying to sell him seed just for feed, which may have been a resource concern but they weren't thinking things through. I told the gentleman, I said, that's your fault. You didn't plan. That's not the cover crop's fault. What could he say? I mean, I don't think he liked what I said, but <laughs> come on. You know. There's many, many different resource concerns. Your resource concerns may be different on each one of your fields, each one of your paddocks. These resource concerns, guys, are for grazing also. Don't just think cropping. We have resource concerns in our pastures also. So you have to determine what that is before you design your cover crop. This takes observation. I hope over the past three days we have beat this into you that it's observation, observation, observation. You have to be able to observe. What is nature trying to tell you? Okay. Yeah, it's too wet. Yeah. Or maybe just my infiltration's that poor. Yeah, that really isn't all that much. Like, what do you suppose that is? About 36 inches of moisture. Should be able to infiltrate that, right? Okay? 